This is the DMT One to One Show, episode 45, on the 31st of January 2014, a feature on Rap Genius's new app. Hello everyone, this is a DMT One to One Show. I'm here with uh, Mahmoud Mogaptam, and uh, he's a co-founder of uh, uh, Rap Genius. So it's a real pleasure to have you on the show. And uh, how's it going? What up? What up? Good to talk to you, man. I wish I was in Cannes with you right now. I know uh, uh, viewers are. I know viewers are going to be able to see that it's a bit of a different background and really crappy lighting today, but uh, but it's all good. Uh, so uh, tomorrow medium is going to start, and it's going to be quite good fun uh, here for the DMT coverage of the, of that conference. But uh, but let's talk about Rap Genius. I mean, uh, you know, we've been talking about it on the show for quite some time about what you guys are doing and and what's happening at the company. So first of all, uh, let's talk about the app. I mean, the app came out this week, and it's uh, it's really really great. Uh, I've uh, I've been enjoying playing with it. So uh, tell me about the process. You know how you went about creating a, a mobile version of Rap Genius, and uh, and uh, you know are you happy with with what came out? You know how was that process? The app has changed the game, my man. I mean, if you think about it, basically it's been two days since Rap Genius has launched. Genius app is the real launch of Rap Genius, and it just you know it makes me feel like a virgin, awesome. uh, touched for the very first time. Sixty uh, percent, over sixty percent of our traffic is mobile, and in a couple of years from now, one hundred percent of it is going to be mobile because computers right. are right. going the way of the dinosaur. And in in a decade from now, when people are talking about Rap Genius, they're going to be talking about that dope app, the sickest app. So now we've launched it, and it's huge. It's the 30th most popular app in the store. It's the third most popular music app. Um, it, you know, it's already had hundreds of thousands of downloads. It's going to get to a million before we blink. That's awesome. And, and that's like with a relatively little uh, sort of push uh, yet. You haven't really pushed it that much. We're pumped. No, everyone was just hungry for it. Everyone yeah. was just waiting their hungry. And then this is just the first version. This one, the, the coolest feature, I think, the coolest feature it's got that the website doesn't have is that you can Shazam a song yeah. and it gives you annotated lyrics. That's great. You know, when, when do you wonder about a line's meaning right after you heard it? So now you can just hold the button next to the song and you got it right there. This is just the first version of the app. Yeah. On the second version, what we're going to do, which I think is going to be the most important breakthrough in the product's history is if you're a celebrity, if you're famous, you're going to be able to do annotations from your mobile phone. Because, you know, we've got something called verified accounts. It's yeah. the crown jewel of the site. It's where uh, celebrities, you know, the artists themselves can annotate their own lyrics. Famous authors can annotate uh, their, their uh, chapter of their own books. Uh, politicians and journalists can annotate political speeches. Yeah. And, and the biggest complaint we get, especially from artists on the music side, is, hey, man, I'm always on tour. I don't have time to sit down at a laptop and tell you what my lyrics mean. But if you can allow me to do it from my phone, I'll be able to do it. Right. So we're going to make it so that for any line, a celebrity can record an Instagram style or Vine style video annotation. Right. And that's going to make this the best pulpit for for you know the baller the the adored like kind of messianic figure to talk with his flock you know you sit there and and you can use this as the pulpit and, and right now the choices that celebrities have to to communicate with their fans are Instagram and Twitter these are like a, the swatch watch of social media you know you put something out it's there for a couple hours and then it's gone uh, genius app is going to be the Rolex of social media. A genius app annotation is forever. Once you record it, it stays on the wall of history forever. It's going to be there in a thousand years from now for aliens to come down and analyze, you know, when they're trying to figure out <laughs> what was going on with the human race. It's very cool because, like, you know, artists uh, so far haven't really had much of a voice when it came to giving, aside from, you know, press interviews, they didn't have, really have much of a voice to give meaning to their lyrics directly, like, you know, People were making things things up, or reviewers were talking about what they thought the lyrics meant, but they didn't really have an. Uh, apart from Twitter, I guess, but Twitter is not a permanent thing; it's, it's very fleeting. There wasn't anywhere to annotate what was happening, uh, you know, in their minds about the lyrics, and so I guess uh, this feature of Rapid Genius really allows them to express, you know, what they think they wanted to convey with with those songs. 
Sure, and they can do whatever they want with it. You know, yeah. like sometimes artists tell me, I remember I met with Cat Power, who's one of my favorite singers, and she's like, I don't want anyone to know the meaning of my lyrics. You know, like this is, <laughs> this is intensely private to me. And uh, I was like, well, then Chan, you know, what you could be doing is you could be lying. Yeah. You know, you can yeah. just make up fake annotations for everything or just mess with people. And, and you know, it's not the, – the purpose of this site is not only to explain things. Like, you know, no, nothing in the world really has a valid explanation. You know, all is vanity. You know, I'm a firm believer that true knowledge doesn't exist. The only thing that exists is communication. You know, people can be in a dialogue together. And, and if you're famous, you should be communicating with your fans. Right. Uh, so, so that's that's the platform we're aiming to provide. That's great. That's and great. Uh, looking at uh, how you essentially, you know, uh, it's called Genius the app. So it's quite a fundamental also change in the in the positioning of the app because, of course, you really want to integrate that uh, you know poetry element and literature and all sorts of mu uh, music genres within the within the app as well. So, uh, do you find uh, do you think that? Uh, 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 dropping, of course, the, the rap part of it is going to uh, open it up to people that might otherwise think, oh, is this a rap application? It, it might be confused by the name, I guess. Well, you know, we've got, we, we love the name Rap Genius. Our, the original name of the site was Rap Exegesis, which I think is even more just perfectly spot <laughs> yeah. on. But unfortunately, no one in the world can spell exegesis. <laughs> um, yeah, that, that would be a challenge. But that's really what we're doing is the exegesis of rap. But um, the reason, you know, right now we have four sites. We have yeah. rockgenius.com, poetrygenius.com, newsgenius, and rapgenius. And even those are not fully defined. Like there's all kinds of communities living inside of these sites right now. There's fashion genius and sports genius are under the news genius umbrella. Uh, TV and film, you know, uh, annotating uh, TV scripts and movie scripts is living under Poetry Genius. That's becoming a big, big hit. Um, startup and tech news genius is kind of its own world. You know, it has its own sub community. Um, so, so, you know, it, it became, we, we were like, certainly we can't have four different apps. And even if we have four different apps, it's not going to stop there. It seems like communities keep budding up and becoming their own. You know, my, my dream is for there to someday be an art genius, yeah. which is only focused on annotation of images. Uh, so, so we decided to just name the app Genius. The, the app is going to be just more unified than, than the, the separate websites that we've got going. Absolutely. It makes, Absolutely. It makes total sense. Total and, so, sense. And, and looking at the music side of things, of course, you know, a really great news on, on the right side as well, because you, you managed to reach agreements with the Sony ATV and UMPG recently. So, so I guess that's going to, you know, your negotiations with everybody are going to continue. And that's sort of a goal of yours also to become a licensed uh, service all around, right? Yeah, it's very exciting. And, and the, the, the other really exciting thing about uh, the app is that it's a way for fans to get directly to the site. So, you know, we're really, I feel like Rap Genius just had its bar mitzvah. It's becoming, it's becoming a man now. Yeah. I'm going, going uh, out of the stage of adolescence. That's cool. And I, I love the SoundCloud integration as well. It's really slick and it works really well within the app. So uh, it's definitely a bonus for the tracks that are on SoundCloud to find them there and be able to play them. Yeah, it's very exciting. You know, SoundCloud is one of my favorite technologies out there. I'm a, yeah. big fan and and the more closely we can integrate together it's really exciting for me yeah awesome well uh, thanks so much for your time uh, it was a pleasure talking to you and uh, uh, you know definitely recommend uh, people that haven't checked it out yet to go and check out uh, the genius app on the uh, ios app store as far as uh, op uh, operating systems are you are you planning a rollout on android as well of course of course as soon as we can you know it's our dream but but uh <laughs> It takes it takes time. I think most people put out uh, the iOS version first. So yeah, yeah. exactly. It's not just us, but no, the no, Android absolutely. will also be excellent. That's great. great. Well, awesome. Thank you so much for your time. And uh, again, go and check out uh, the Genius app. Uh, this has been the DMT One to One Show. Check out all the other shows on DigitalMusicTrends.com. Thank you.